And I and Solea, dimensionless, an apparatus of stones in reversal, a non-subjective state tilted through zones outside aphasia, outside its brimming lexical aridity, as we expand and contract with the power of aprosexia, sustained by natural tumult of knowing that the squall of death is in jest. So Leia wants the whisper of a spinning singular mirage, now freely entangles existence and post-existence, emitting implicate tornadoes of fire, as if the elemental powers had known her polar erosion of spinning, then testing their own oblivions by repeating the subterhand, aligning its sub-anonymous vector dispersed as pre-eclectic teeming, no longer of herbiferous monotony. If I say two poles of wheat, or a series of Minoan grain invictors, none of this projects her mirage exchanged through fertility by scansion, by evanescent radii, by thought as magnetic migration. Say I ignited the earth as a failing covenant of thoughts. So Leah would erupt, closing her form within neutron delay, within vibrational microbe as essence. And because we vibrate, we are odd rotational deltas as gathered oblivious ice sparked by summoned meta-concentration. A communion, an obscure cellular uranic as velocity between cells and stars, the centrioles and beta tare. the mitochondria and alpha percy, the cytoplasm and gamma andromedae, a cyclical transference between zeta reticuli and earth, Between the Pleiades and bluish ammonia as voids, this double presence of Solea with her enigmatic poise, with her stricken oniric kindling zeal, mutating above the zone of inclement multiple proof, above integers which preclude an aboriginal scintilla, there is a flitting between us, being two dissimilar poles of catastrophic murals.
behind those murals a curious blaze of corrupted mosaics with light interacting with its distance with photo evaporation from dense new stars erupting from interior angstroms from extended differentials so that she is seething with elusive fragmentary gold being bewitched typhlotic furtive much like a hovering sapphire embrasure or imaginary sanguinary glare brought to bear around the pressure of a prone displacement Thank you.